This tutorial will walk you through creating a new help desk ticket to gain technical support. The first thing you're going to want to do is visit the Billings Public Schools homepage by going to billingsschools.org. When you get to the homepage, click on Quick Links in the upper right hand corner. This will take you to an indexed page. Scroll down to the H's for Help Desk. Then click on the link that says Help Desk. You're going to want to log in by typing in your email address and your password. If you've not created a Help Desk account yet and aren't sure how to do that, please watch the tutorial video on creating a Help Desk account. If you're on a public computer, you're going to want to deselect the option Remember Me. Once you type in your email address and your password, go ahead and click Login. This will take you to the main screen of the Help Desk Ticket section. You can see I have a couple of things going on. I have one of two tickets showing right now. And um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new help desk ticket. What you can do is click on the link called New Ticket. You want to fill this information out. It's very important that you pay attention to how you fill this out. You want to pick the correct category, so read them carefully make sure you pick the correct one. Set a priority. If you have lost your password and you can't take attendance or check your email or anything like that, that might be a higher priority than um, you can't print to one specific printer in your building, something like that. Please place uh, information in your subject line that's going to make sense. Something like hello, help, or question takes longer to answer than if you said uh, something to the effect of my printer is printing erratically. I mean, that's a little bit more detail than help. Okay. In your message section, be as detailed as you possibly can. Tell the tech support what type of machine you're on. Are you on a Mac? Are you on a PC? Are you using a mobile device? If you know your operating system version, list that. If there are any error messages that are coming up, please put the information that's in the error message. That often helps the tech support people answer your question immediately, rather than trying to go back and forth and, and find out what's going on. So as much detail in the message section as you can provide is going to make it much easier and quicker for your tech support person to help you. Once you have that information in, click the button that says Create Ticket. You will receive an email that looks something like this. I'll just click on this so you can see. It gives information saying, thank you for contacting us. We've assigned your ticket a number, and it gives you that particular number. Notice that it says web, and the reason for that is the category that I chose to get help with is the website. And then um, it gives you a little bit more information. So basically, this is a confirmation saying, we've received your ticket. It has been assigned. We're working on it. If you jump back to the ticket section, let me get rid of that little news message, sorry, you can see that you can check tickets a number of ways. I can look at all the tickets I've ever created, whether they've been handled or are still pending. I can look at just the new tickets, any open tickets, any tickets that are still waiting for reply, a ticket that's been placed on hold, or any tickets that have been closed or resolved. So you can look at your tickets in lots of different ways, filter through and just look at the ones you want to look at. Two areas that you need to be familiar with and that I suggest you spend some time in. The first one is the knowledge base. Might I suggest that before you create a help desk ticket, you click on the knowledge base to see if someone else has already asked the question 
or needed the assistance that you're currently needing. You can save a lot of time for yourself and your tech support if you check the knowledge base and can find the answer has already been answered by someone else. Asked and answered, excuse me, by someone else. The My Settings section allows you to change your password and um, other information. So I just clicked on that so you can see this. If you change locations or, or phone numbers, those kinds of things, you can change it in here. You can change your password, as I said. And then notice that there's a Notification Preferences. If you don't like getting the email keeping you up to date on what's going on with your help desk ticket, you can disable those by clicking in these check boxes. But I tell you, it's really nice to know that your help desk ticket was received and pe when people are responding to that ticket. So it might be nice to keep that selected for a while. One final thing. When you're done creating your help desk ticket or working in the help desk environment, you might want to go ahead and just click log out. That takes you out of that particular session and out of the help desk arena. Just click on that. So it puts us right back to that um, home page. So, help desk tickets. They're an important part of getting tech support timely and effectively in Billings Public Schools.